This is a sustainability video about how to remove the gluey parts from a container if you want to reuse it. These are all plastic food containers and we're getting ready for an activity, an event, and we need to clean all of this gluey mess off of the containers. This is the first part. So the stickers were on here. We were able to peel some off without any trouble, but a lot of them, most of them, left this residue and kind of glued on, so we had to peel that off, and I scraped it. I think I did a little more work than I needed to because I hadn't really sort of tried to research the problem and address it. So here is the solution I've come up with, and it's actually quite beautiful. Hot water. So, and a little soap, of course. Not of course, but yes, a little soap. So in this dish, I've been periodically putting new soap and new hot water. The reason is that the water cools off as I let it soak a bit. Sorry, my dish, my sink is full. And then we take these which I've scraped, but I'm actually gonna try it again later without particularly scraping. So it's nice and warm. It's going to soften the glue so that we can more easily remove it. All right, so then I can stack some of them, make sure there's water in between. I'm trying not to have to do like one bowl of water for one lid. And then I'm just going to let that sit. I suppose five minutes might be enough. Usually I just go do something and come back when I'm ready. But let's put the timer on for five minutes so that we can get this video done. Right. Right. So here we are. Five, six, seven minutes later. Water's still warm. And now we can very easily scrape off with our fingernails. They also suggested you might use a credit card. Maybe I'll try a credit card for the next one, but, and I should have brought home my tripod. But this is looking pretty good, guys, right? I think I found a new sustainability industry. Reusing old food containers that my friend Kathy sells. <laughs> and then selling them on Etsy. If I sold this on Etsy for 25 cents each, would you buy it? Okay, so there we go. Plus, if we, additionally, if we heat it under the water, oh, I missed the spot. See how easily that's coming out? If we heat it under the water, it might, um, especially on the wrong side, I'm thinking, it might enable me to scrape the, the glue off on the right side. But um, I don't have two hands, so that's good. Good enough for now. That's how it works, peeps. All right. Now I'm going to use two hands to do the rest and a little bit. I'm going to get a credit card. Hang on a minute. Oh, credit card. I don't actually mean credit card. An old um, room key will work. So the idea is just to scrape it off. I don't have as much leverage because I'm, I only got one hand. So let me use two hands and you'll just have to see it at the end. Hang on. Right, here's the result of that experiment. Um, hmm. You can certainly uh, use the credit card. I find my fingernail much more effective. I can control it better, and I can film at the same time. Also, what I found was that uh, when I used the credit card, it kind of messed up the whole taking off the thing. I'm not exactly sure why, but it, it seemed crazy. It seemed harder to take off after I tried to use the credit card. And this is looking a little difficult itself. So one of the things I'm wondering is, could I just put it under the hot water and save myself a lot of trouble? So I'm heating up that side. And then now let's see if it comes off. And yes, it comes off a lot more easily. See that? And again, I'm, I'm sure you'd realize that you can be much more effective with um, 
with two hands, right? But I'm kind of video as I'm doing this. It's pretty good. Look at that. Look at that. All right. Wash. Good enough. And then I'm going to try using some, um, some, what do you call it? A, um, alcohol for the rest of the label. All right. So I'm just going to finish these last two and then I have more somewhere else. I'm going to bring those back in. Radio.